uh, supporting our local first responders and all they do for our communities. Now, for the past four years, two young brothers from Brownsburg have been doing just that. I know they're going to inspire a lot of you out there. Joining me now are Nina Powell with Brownsburg Fire Territory and 10-year-old Austin, 11-year-old Logan. I'm worried, okay, I'm worried that all this lemonade is blocking you from the camera, so I'm going to move it over here, and thanks for making it. Austin, so I understand this kind of started with you. You were in the hospital? I was in the hospital and a nurse offered me toys and I, I declined them and I asked my mom why she offered me toys and she said it was to pass time so we thought of an idea to start making money and donating teddy bears to the hospital. Wow. So you do teddy bears at first and then you mm -hmm. switch to lemonade, Logan. Yeah. How did that happen and how's it been going? Um, good. And mm -hmm. like the first year, it we had like like two thousand dollars, and then it just grew from there. That's very impressive. I know you've uh, donated to different, you know, local heroes in your community. Can you talk to us? First of all, this must just be so sweet for you to see. <laughs> so sweet. We are so excited about these boys. Um, I first met them at police and fire camp. I oh. taught them hands on CPR and we are just so thankful for their contributions. When you think about little kids, you think about they earn their money to spend on themselves, mm -hmm. but these guys are focused on giving back, and I mean, we just can't thank you enough. The Hendricks County uh, Rehab Unit um, is just so empowered and so thankful for your donations, guys. How will it help exactly? So their donations help stock our rehab support unit, and so that provides relief, snacks, hydration for firefighters while on scene. Um, so I've actually investigated a few fires where the rehab support unit showed up to hydrate uh, firefighters, including myself, wow. and um, it's just because of these boys' contribution. Wow, and so it's yes. coming up again this Friday and Saturday, right? Yeah. Um, so what do you charge and what do people need to know? This year I think we're doing 50 cents per cup of lemonade. Well, that's a great deal. And a dollar for water. Oh, and I, and I know this year you're going to do, in case you aren't able to go to the lemonade stand in Brownsburg, going to do PayPal and make some other ways for people to donate. Um, one thing I love about this is, you know, I have a seven-year-old boy, and so the fact that you all are just so naturally giving and thinking about others is really impressive. So, is it strawberry lemonade as well, or? Um, I think last year we were planning on doing lots of strawberry lemonade. Really? And <laughs> it's on the news now. Are you guys going to be fully stocked and ready to go? <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> do, you, do you really see a lot of this? We don't. We see a lot of lemonade stands, uh -huh. and we support every lemonade stand we see, but this is the only lemonade stand that actually gives back. and. We appreciate that. And so. it's not just a little bit. We're talking thousands. Yes. You know, I'm really excited to see what you guys do in life. It's going to be incredible, I think. Anything else you guys want to say while you're up here? No. No? You ready for school? No. No? <laughs> one, no, one, yes. Thank you both for coming in. You did a great job. Thank you. I told you it'd be fun. Yes. <laughs> Nina, thank you for <laughs> thank coming you so as well. Much. Yes, thanks for having Yeah, us. and I know that this will inspire other kids and even adults yes. to do some stuff. We hope so. Too. Uh, so the boys are putting up flyers. This is how it's going to work if you want to go. There's going to be flyers all over Brownsburg advertising the lemonade stand. So look for a flyer for more info. If you cannot make it to Brownsburg, oh, that's a cute picture. Um, you can donate to the le lemonade stand. We're going to connect you for that. And Nina, you were saying they can also go to your social media? Yes, Brownsburg Fire Territory. Okay. And we'll post information there also. Great. Sounds yes. good. Thank you all three for coming in. <laughs> and we'll get over to Jim and hopefully it's some nice weather for that.